Simonsburg, an Aboriginal community 130 kilometers west of Alice Springs in the Central Australian Desert. The people from this area call themselves Aranda. Hermansburg was established as a Lutheran mission at the turn of the century. During this time, the Aranda people were discouraged from taking part in their traditional ceremonies. Today, the Aranda people still know their traditional language and dreaming stories, but they also go to church. The Aranda people pass on their culture and their stories to their children and their grandchildren. Their culture is expressed through a group of artists called the Hermansburg Potters. My name is Naomi Sharp, and I'm originally from New York City. I've been living in Australia for many years, and in 1990, I came to Hermansburg to set up a pottery group. I never dreamed I'd spend seven years living and working on an Aboriginal community. It's been a wonderful experience, especially to see how quickly these people have adapted with clay. Even though clay is a new medium for them, the Aranda people have been painting for over 60 years. Many of the Hermansburg potters are descendants of Albert Namajira, Australia's most famous Aboriginal painter. He and his relatives are world-renowned for their European-style watercolors depicting their landscape. Three different calorie and another spring and noon yan and yan and the calorie like Melbourne, Adelaide, and uh, Opus here on noon yan and yan and like London and New York on road. Four of these potters and I travel together to Lombok, a small island next to Bali in India. We went to meet the indigenous Sasek potters to learn new skills. The Hermansburg potters had never been away from their desert country and their families before. This is Judith Inkamala, Esther Kennedy, Maggie Watson, and Eli Namajira. <laughs> Fish, nothing but a tofen. Jingy Island or Lagarpur. Hit like a long one and wagon and barrel. Island of it. No quite a cool and a mallet no one. Then you know, Chaka Chaka, I'm not in by a tofen. Oh, and the fish of Marp and them. Martin Drug not in by a
So in Lombok, where we are now, we call it West of Lombok. Pacha I call it now, I call it now, different color, no? And also, I call it now, I call it now, I call it now, I call it now, I call it now. Mere nagi kwa lama la arap mere tifoni ya red naga andruza tongo mabrod and no nagi kwa aran langa. We finally arrived, and although we had only traveled a few thousand miles, we were a whole world away from Hermansburg. Just work, 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 the Sussex are the indigenous people of Lombok and are well their traditional craft work, especially pottery. The Sussex women have been making pottery in these villages for hundreds of years. This is what they smooth with, sung. That's a pretty good idea. Did you see this, Nangi? The smoothing, that's a good idea. We should use this. It's smooth, beautiful. Feel that's how perfect they can get it. That's a good
The original Sussex are believed to have come overland from northwest India or Burma around the 14th century. Officially, most Sussex are now Muslims, but their language, art, songs, and dance show their links with the Hindu Buddhist culture that dominated much of Indonesia before the arrival of Islam in the 17th century. Today, the Sussex are amongst the most underdeveloped people in Indonesia, living in densely populated villages where illiteracy and birth rates are high. Although the Sussex have an agricultural economy, the poorest among them, the potters, do not own land. Look 
खन्ना ने इतना गंजन रख टेप बना लाइन वाल टेप बन टेप बन बार केटल कैप लाइट सीक्रेट यू बोलते हैं ना रन ना रन और चंदूर टूट बार मार दे रहे हैं बार टेप बन Mana yang orang orang ni jahat pun dia nak? Kapur, potong. Mana curut? Fish, fish ya. Berapa tu? 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 Berapa t
इतना लगन गए Firing takes place as soon as the pots are dried and have spent half a day in the the pots are then fired with coconut husks and rice straw. continue to make pots in the Lombok style, but we certainly came home from our cultural exchange with a new and useful tool, the ubiquitous rubber thong. You like you're back in Lombok now? <laughs> <laughs> 